new preview has been released for the upcoming docuseries Thank You, Good Night, The Bon Jovi Story. The four-part show filmed in February 2022 will chronicle the band's 40-year career and precarious future. The program will be available to stream via Hulu and Disney Plus on April 26. It was real fun. If you work hard enough, you can make it, one member said during the 30 seconds preview. But it was taking a toll. It really got out of control. The video then cuts to a picture of frontman John Bon Jovi laying in a hospital bed while holding up a whiteboard that says I'm good. It's become public knowledge now, but I've had major reconstructive surgery in my vocal cords, and I never had anything like this, ever, the singer said during a question and answer session earlier this month. It's been a difficult road, but I found a doctor in Philadelphia who did something called a medialization because one of my cords was literally atrophied. During the procedure, Bon Jovi's doctor moved a paralyzed vocal fold so the ones that are still working can function properly. They put a plastic implant in, and for the last two years now I've been in this rehab, getting it back together, the singer said. I'm getting very close. Bon Jovi performed its first live show since 2022 last week at the Music Airs Awards ceremony where they debuted a new single called Legendary, which will be on an upcoming album. But it's not clear if the band will ever tour again. My health has been first and foremost a topic of discussion, but I'm well on the road to recovery there, Bon Jovi said. If I can't be great, I'm out. And I think that the documentary that we're about to put out addresses all of that. The docuseries will come out as Bon Jovi celebrates the 40th anniversary of its self-titled studio album, which has been certified platinum. The band had formed just one year earlier in Sayreville, New Jersey. They went on to release 14 more LPs. Bon Jovi became a household name following the release of its 1986 album Slippery When Wet, which spent eight weeks at No. 1 on the Billboard 200. The band would make it to the top of the chart six more times. Bon Jovi's latest studio album 2020 came out in October of that year. The band also released a holiday track called Christmas Isn't Christmas last November. The band's frontman and his son Jesse Bon Jovi started a wine company called Hampton Water back in 2016. The brand is known for its affordable rose made with grapes grown in the south of France. The wine has hints of strawberry and citrus, according to a description on the company's website. A big selling point for Hampton Water is that their glass top bottles are resealable. This makes the wine a good fit for a day at the beach or other informal outings.